Okay. Ooh, gold, gold, gold. 32. This is what I was talking about, y'all. Once you get 32 everything, let's see the pull. And it's gold pull. So this is guaranteed. Law, Kid, or Kaido. Let's see. Can we get the Kaido, though? That's the real question. It's Defender. It's Defender. Alright, what's going on guys? So today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're going to be starting a brand new journey in OPVR with a brand new free to play account. So the reason I wanted to start a series like this is because I do want to make a beginner's guide but I feel like it'll be easier just to play as if I was a beginner. So for the beginners that are starting off, they could see what I would do if I was starting off the game fully. But yeah, we're gonna begin the journey with a brand new account. Um, and I just made pretty much a new emulator, uh, like copy, you could use multi instance thingy. But yeah, if you guys don't know, I do play on emulator and I have it set up so I, I could use my controller. Ignore this one, but like all these are buttons for, you know, my Xbox controller. So I've made several tutorials on how to do this for yourself, but I made an updated one recently in 2022. So you can check that one out and learn how to play emulator yourself. I'm going to start brand new account, but my goal is to reroll for a Kaido because I know many people starting uh, OPR do reroll for like, you know, the latest broken unit. So that's what we're gonna do today as well. And of course, we're getting introduced with the the <laughs> beginner tutorial. I have to reset my controller here. Bounty Rush is a 4v4 multiplayer game where teams fight to collect treasure. Okay, that's a good way to put it, yes. <laughs> the team that captures the treasure, all right, all right. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you already know how to play right off the bat, I'm going to change some of the settings. Uh, I don't know if these are the best things for mobile, but if you're playing on emulator, I like to do these. Boom, boom. I do rotate minimap. That's fine. Don't like the auto target. And that's it. These are just like, obviously, like the simple, what you're supposed to do, like how you even move around and like do stuff. But OPBR itself, like the gameplay is definitely very technical. Normal attacks. Okay. Like, there's a lot of little things that you guys have to learn just by playing. And I feel like this video series would be a good way for you guys to learn by also watching. So, yeah. Uh, let me just grab this middle flag. Obviously, I don't need this tutorial, but I think it's good to go through it once because I do want to see how, um, how Bandai made their tutorial. All right, try playing a 4v4 team battle, of course. So, this is actually how... OPR works, it's a 4v4 online game, and you play, you know, just people online to have more flags at the end of the match, pretty much. You can also go for the 5-0, so if you capture all flags, that's it. Boom, see, exactly, you want more flags than the enemy, and you can shut them out with capturing all five flags, so. Ah, right, they did a good job of explaining it, that's actually not bad. Always let the defender get it first, that Jinbei's a bot. So that's like why they're not playing well, but Whitebeard would capture the first flag and fill it up fully, you know, fill up the treasure gauge. Uh, right here, attackers, you're kind of more versatile because you're, you know, you have the option to help your defenders. Oh, I'm missing everything. Or, you know, like help your defenders defend the flag or help the runners capture the flag or whatever. That's why I do like playing with attackers. But defenders, Loki have the most important job because they have to hold down the treasures and runners also do of course but like their job is kind of easier okay so team boost I kind of didn't really go over but it just gives you a buff based on um, each character's team boost um, stat so for example my Luffy gives attack stat and that'll give the whole team uh, attack boost and then you have EX uh, units like, you know, Blackbeard, Shanks, Big Mom. 
Odin, Roger, Yamato, Kaido. Oh my god, we got a lot of EX now. Holy shit. But all those EX units give EX Team Beast. That gave even more, you know, even more stats to the game. I'm not too used to this Luffy, no cap. But I like his normals. They're actually not bad. Alright, let's tremor him with skill 1. Boom. And then when they're tremored, you can just, yeah, go crazy on him. Because tremor keeps him paralyzed, pretty much. Same with... Petrify, Boa's, Boa's stone thingy, and yeah, that's, yeah, I think those are the only two that do that, because freeze, stun, and other status effects just knock the people back into a normal state. Ooh, team boost, boom, so we get extra damage, that's how we do it, what the, I just got a double kill, but let's get this Kizaru, bro, I'm going for them flags. When you have team boost, you want to go and fight, bro, I don't care what what unit you are, just go and fight. If you don't got flags, go get flags. And even if you do got flags, just wipe them out carefully. <laughs> of course, you don't have to do the full... Oh my god. You don't have to do the full uh, attack string, like the normal attack string. So, you'll see you want to learn with the unit you're playing and just combo them. So, like, you know, sometimes you do 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two, like, you know, all different sorts of things. Ooh, let me stop the back up. No! Not today, Kizuru. That was close. Yo, that was close. Here we go. We're finally in the main screen. And you scout to gain more crew members. Of course, this is a gacha game. So you do summon for the characters, pretty much. And you could just wail for gems to summon pretty much infinitely. If you got the money for it. So... Yeah, if you're new to gacha games, like, that's pretty much how these games work. It's just, they're kind of pay to win in a sense. And, yeah, like, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Let's see, Defender. You know I love my Defenders, but my plan for this account is to actually get a good runner first. I know Kaido's there, and I'm going to be rolled for Kaido, but I want a good runner because... For defenders, they take super high investment. What I mean by that is you need good support, good medals, you know, boost them up, everything, all that. You need you need to boost them up. But for runners, you don't really need that much investment because you could just avoid fights and go capture flags, you know? But defenders, you're taking on fights head on to defend your flag. You'll need two characters, of course. If they're KO, you switch to the other one. You will start off with the character on the left. Boom, edit your party. Dragon. Tap the home button. Okay, so we're gonna run time skip Luffy. And my boy Frankie, I guess. Of course, you can't run Luffy and Luffy together. So, if you guys didn't know that. And we can't even level them up yet, so we're not even gonna worry about any of this just yet. We're gonna focus on just, you know, doing the tutorial for now enter player name you know we gotta run up that f2p f2p soul bro <laughs> okay let's go play a league battle okay league battle is the main game mode finally we play against online people let's get it and yeah i'm just gonna click start that's it I'll go over it later because i don't want to get copyrighted with this music actually all right, so my team is full of online players and the other team is bots. I could recognize by the name. So I guess that's how they do it for like each first match or something. But this is definitely quite interesting. Getting a, you know, getting the beginner experience. Cause I do recommend this game to a lot of my friends. So this is kind of interesting seeing how like, you know, they would play. But of course, if y'all didn't know my main account Pretty wailed on, you know, it's got a lot of the units, a lot of the EXs, and I've spent a lot of time on it, of course, a lot of money into it, and yeah, so I thought it'd be cool just to start brand new, like, it's, it's pretty dope. So, wait for his skill, or like, whatever, boom, perfect dodge him. You gotta read them, bro, you gotta read them. Start getting this again. The bots, of course... They attack you super late, so they're kind of easy to time. But for real players, you really—it's like it's like a psychological, 
like it's a psychological mind game, bro. For real. Oh, I missed it. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm waiting for my skill one right now. Just defend it up. Boom. Alright, that's our first 5-0 shutout. Let's go. Road to SS going going clean. Alright, so the treasure chances actually confuse a lot of people. And you have four chances when you play League Battle, and a lot of people coming from other gacha games think of it as a stamina system. But it's pretty much just a reward system, as you can see. So you use up one treasure chance every time you do battle start. And of course you have four uh, daily that just keep recovering every few hours. And you could, like, a lot of people use their gems, I've seen. Um, because they think it is a stamina system, but there's no point to use your gems unless you're grinding a challenge battle that requires tickets from these treasure chests. Then I see some of the whales uh, grinding for top ranks. They will actually use rainbow diamonds to get these tickets to grind those challenge battles. So I, I've never even done that myself, so I don't really recommend you guys be wasting your rainbow diamonds. Of course, these are super limited items, of course. And you also get f character fragments, which help you increase uh, their grade. And the grade pretty much means when they're four star, it's from level 60 to 79. When they're five star, then it's level 80 to 99. And six star is level 100 characters. And of course, that's the ultimate goal. Getting to League D, wow. And of course, we're grinding for Road to SS. So that's gonna be the ultimate goal of the series because that is when you reach the end game, in my opinion. You start unlocking all the character fragments, all that, bro. And now we're actually in the game and we should be able to get our free gems. Let's go, all the good stuff. And this is the boy we're going for, of course. Where is he at? My son Kaido. My son Kaido, bro. Not gonna show too much because copyright. You know, not trying to get copyrighted. Here's all the news. You know, we've already covered that in the other video. Hey, bro, we free, free, we free to play now. Chill out, Bandai. Chill out. Not anymore. If that was back in the day. I would have taken that offer. Now we're actually into the full game. So let's claim all the free gems. We get 261 off rip. So let's see. Let's see if we could summon for someone first. Um, of course, we're going to go over everything else throughout the series so like don't even worry about that like when you're starting off the game again this is a gacha game so when you go into characters and all that these are all your characters like the whole point of the game okay they're tech they're just talking about leveling up characters and stuff so the whole point of the game is to actually expand your character roster as you can see locked characters like all the these are all the EXs on top not whitebeard uh, these guys, Shanks, Kainu, these four right here, all EXs. But all the other bounty fests are also amazing units as well. Just gotta find the right ones for your teams and all that. And even if you don't use them in your main party, you need those characters for your support and to create medals when you use them. So, you know, at the end of the day, this game is a gacha game, so you want to you know, make sure you're getting gems to summon. And the best way to do that is get to SS as fast as possible and start getting gems, you know? But for now, I'm gonna either re-roll, I'm gonna see, I might re-roll for Kaido to start it off strong, start off the account strong. And yeah, then really go hard and push for SS because I think most players do re-roll for the good characters. And it's it's a free thing to do, you know, like re-rolling is not like I'm paying money to re-roll. It just requires time and anyone could do it. <laughs> but that being said, I see a lot of people or like a lot of new people come into the game re-rolling every time there's a new unit. And that's not what you want to do. Just re-roll for one good unit and get your ass to SS ASAP, bro, because this game is about building support, gathering medals, and you know just building up your account not just having one good character because that's not going to help you in the long term but let's see if we get lucky with a kaido real quick 
Let's go. Fresh, brand new free-to-play <laughs> free soul account. Um, they did add this little drop-down thing. So as you can see, if I go here, so there's only three banners. And then if I go on this, a lot of people are getting confused by this. But if you go on this, then it's just a little drop-down. You get three. Because people are like, why can't I go on the top one? It's like, nah, bro. It's just a drop-down. But yeah, we're going to summon for Kaido because he's the latest EX. And if I could pull a law and kid on this, I think I might just stick with the account. I might just stick with it. Let's see. It depends what level we get him. Skip. I skipped that because I knew it was going to be lucky. Let me explain what I look for when I'm summoning. So when I'm summoning, obviously you want gold chest. These are like mid tier and you want a gold flag. So both these are mid tier. And the last thing to look for is the number in the back right there. So 14 means you're unlucky as hell. 27 means you have, you know, some chance. And 32, if it's 32 gold flag, gold everything, and and then red gold pull, that means you're pretty much guaranteed the, a featured unit. So this is guaranteed nothing, so I'm going to skip. Let's run it back. Let's see, let's see. There we go. Some gold chests. Red flag, okay, we still have a chance. 14, that means we're unlucky. 14 pretty much means you're getting nothing, yeah. So, so far, this account is not not going off strong, so I might actually be roll. I ain't making it to SS with no Higuma the bear, bro. Chill out with that. Chill out with that. These are all two-star, three-star units. We're looking for four-star units, bro. Four-star. Because then you could get those to five-star easy and then six-star, of course. This is the one, boys. This is the one. I sent a Kaido in here. Never mind. Black flag. Rip. So I'm actually going to re-roll now because I do want to get to SS with a free-to-play account. And the best way to stay free-to-play is by starting off strong. So that's my tip for y'all. Like Before you even think about semi-whaling or any of that, make sure you start off strong with these summons. To actually re-roll... Uh, on Android and on emulator, it's pretty easy. I don't know about uh, iOS. There might be a tutorial on iOS, but I'm not sure. But pretty much what I'm going to do right here, X that out. And we're going to go to files, Google files, scroll down, go to internal storage. And if you go to Android data, then this one right here with OpenBR, you're going to rename it. and. I just want to say shout out to Paradox OpenBR for actually making a tutorial on this. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want like a full, full on tutorial. But he pretty much showed me how to do this. You, re you rename it, boom, go there, go to settings, go to storage, apps, look for OpenBR and just clear the data. Okay, now it's re-rolled, but you gotta do this again. Boom, okay. Uh, it's saying no, but that's fine. Just spam it. And now once we open OPBR again, we should be in a brand new Vivo account. But um, what's it called? We don't have to download the data again, if you know what I mean. Because the data takes pretty much like 20 minutes to download. So like ain't nobody got time for that. So that's how you reroll real quick. I'm just going to skip all the tutorials again and then you summon all right so we back at it with the f2p soul account let me just cook these guys in league battle so i could do my reroll summons come on bro come on ain't nobody got time for this we got some re-rolling to do i'm speeding through this bro i'm speeding through this 261 yet again Okay, I don't even care about those summons. These ones, I guess. Nothing, okay. Let's go to Kaido, normal scouts, boom. So they give you a little five multis. Oh, attacker. Law and Lofty off rip, okay, okay. I Loki might be keeping this account. <laughs> Just cause of that. That's a good start. That's a good start, bro. Oh, gold, gold. Red. 27. Ah, uh, nah. Okay, Brooke. At least it's already doing better than my first, first try. 
Okay, what you got here? 14, skip. Alright. It's gonna reroll for a bit. Okay. Ooh, gold, gold, gold. 32, this is what I was talking about, y'all. Once you get 32 everything, let's see the pull and it's gold pull. So this is guaranteed Law, Kid, or Kaido. Let's see. Can we get the Kaido though? That's the real question. If it's Defender, it's Defender. Oh, <gasps> no shot, baby! Second try, yo. Second try reroll. Let's go. We got the Kaido. Oh my god. That's all I need. That's all I need. We got second try B-roll, baby. Alright, F2P soul account looking clean. We looking clean. Dude, that's insane. Y'all saw it. Y'all saw it happen live. First episode of the free-to-play series going well. We love to see it. We love to see it. We're already gonna put <laughs> Kaido. That's insane, bro. Oh my god. So we're gonna grind these all of these bro we have a lot of grinding to do for gems and already i'm gonna start saving up for two uh what's it called 3.5 anniversary i'm gonna start saving all the way bro with this account we saving bro we saving oh my god oh my god that's for that's for me getting unlucky on my main account bro literally I got so unlucky on my main account that Bandai was like, alright, make a new account, you'll get blessed. Alright, so they do start you off with a free Luffy. We just gotta clear all these missions and a lot of gems. So let's do that next. And yeah, boys, we got we got Kaido. We got Kaido. Okay, they talking about upgrading all that. That's fine. Uh, we're just gonna ignore the tutorial because I'm gonna teach y'all what to do anyways. So, I'm a bookmark the good units I have. So, all the four stars pretty much you get, you want to start bookmarking because they're goaded. So, these, these, that, and that was pretty much it, I think. Yeah, pretty much all I got. So, off to a good start already. We're going to run Kaido, Lofty. Level up my boy Kaido as much as you can. Boom. Okay, we go second reroll, guys. Like that's crazy. That's crazy. Let me just do my free pull as well. Maybe cop another unit. Nah. But oh, we need all the all the support we could get. Boom. Free pull. Okay, that's fine. So that's how you guys want to start off OPBR with a lucky reroll. Like I got, I got. Hello, lucky. Took me two tries, but for you, it might take mad long. You know who 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 knows, bro? Who knows? That shit was insanely lucky. But okay, do they start me off with anything anything juicy? We're gonna need some cola eventually. Uh, not too many league points, but let's start buying these already. Let's start buying these because, bro, we slacking on XP. Okay, we're gonna start getting those. All right. And of course, now our goal is gonna be to get to, um, okay, these are all the rewards for this. But our goal for the series, I don't care if it takes months or a year or years, I don't, I don't care. But we're eventually gonna get to SS. And the reason you want to get to SS is because you start getting 50 frags every two weeks and you need 200 frags. That's equivalent to one unit, right? So, you know, 200 frags is one unit. And if you're getting 50, like every two weeks, that's, it, it adds up. Especially when you do the challenge battle, you do the other stuff. You start getting a lot of frags, you start getting gems and the game makes it easier to be free to play. All you gotta do is get to SS. like. I don't care what it takes, bro. If you got a back cap, you gotta find, you gotta become a god defender, EX abuse, whatever. Just get to SS, all right? Here we go. F2P Soul has reached League D. It's only a matter of time to reach the next one. Bandai knows, bro. Bandai knows what's good. We gonna get there soon, my boys. We gonna get there soon. But yeah, if you guys are liking the series so far, definitely leave a like. 
so i know you guys want more comment what you think about it but you know starting off with this kaido account i'm hype already bro i think i think i could get to ss in no time honestly in no time in my main account i'm literally abusing four star kaido so like this shit about to be disgusting all right so while i'm capturing the flag of course i'm gonna set my old settings that i had and look at this kaido you can charge up the treasure past the max amount up to 150 so charge it up because you also stack your defense to get tanky and tankier start charging this up ain't nobody living bye bye <laughs> i'm a yo do i have a hacker in my match already what is this yeah he's a hacker he's a hacker because if y'all see my hacking is this easy y'all would have seen he could freeze the bots so you can freeze the bots all right so we have a hacker in my match hate to see it bro hate to see it of course those hacks are only pve so that's why it's working on those bots but um he can't like i think it was the mihawk he's a motherfucking mihawk bro but yeah i think i want to see what the experience is like in these lower leagues so this is interesting so already seen hackers in our first league match pretty much you know Player rank 2, missions unlocked, item chance support. Alright, so let's check out those things real quick. Ah, it's so tempting, bro. It's so tempting, but no. I don't want it, Bandai. Okay, so we finally got our daily item chance thingies. These, you know, these add up. They're not a lot, but they're for our beginner account, like even this is a lot, bro. I need everything right now. You need all the materials you could get, so make sure you're combining these missions. Boom. Like, you know, you don't have to be looking through the missions and finding them. Just keep playing the game. Like, just keep playing League Battle, keep doing Challenge Battle, do the other things, level up your characters, all that. And then you'll be just claiming your missions on the side. Like, I'm not even reading what these missions are. But obviously, you could go in and here, be like, okay, oh, make one level, level 30 character. Boom. Let me make this guy level 30. You know, now he's 33. You get that mission. Like, you could do it like that. But honestly, just focus on grinding. Like, don't don't grind the missions. Grind the game itself, and you'll just find you're doing the missions on the side, like by themselves. You know. All right. So league battle match number two. Still got a bunch of bots, and oof, no one's defending. Pretty sure these are all bots still. But Kaido just destroying them, bro. <laughs> just destroying them. C minus league now. Let's go, baby. Let's see. I could. Let's see if I can just keep pushing a bit. And you definitely want to keep getting win streaks. That's the best way to. That's the best way to raise your league score. Oh, look at that new maps unlocked. That's that's dope. That's dope. Okay. I'll right, let's just keep running up. Stop! Stop tempting me, Bandai. Stop doing it. All right. So they still keep doing it where I'm matching with online players on my team and then all bots on the other team, which is. Which is definitely suspicious, bro. Bandai onto something. But, um, yeah, that means I can't really show you guys the most top tier, like, you know, top tier plays, like what things you want to do because I'm not really playing against real players. So, for that, I definitely recommend checking out my other videos, other gameplays and stuff. And also just, you know, just kind of waiting. As you do see the progression of league ranks, you will see a change of play styles for sure because even in just s plus i've seen people different they play differently than in ss for sure all right finally after like two minutes it dc'd us okay i knew it was gonna dc us but it took a minute let's see if it actually ruined our win streak thank you for playing are you enjoying actually right now i am enjoying bounty rush but yeah well, i ain't got time for even a review Okay, we still got our win streak. Okay, good thing didn't do that shit to us. Boom, get rid of him. Get this flag because they didn't even defend it. So in the beginning, this is what you want to do. Just push for the shutout 5 O's, and just get free wins, bro. Because you need win streaks to keep them. Um, you need win streaks, and it's also like a problem with time. So you want to do it faster with 5 O's. Definitely push for the 5 O's in the beginning. But now we unlock special training. Let's go. Okay, special training. I'm gonna put Kaido in there, of course. And this gives you character frags to eventually get him to level 100. 
but let's get it boys so that's that get those rainbow diamonds boom we're gonna keep grinding these because these get rainbow diamonds as well all right to grind all these you just pretty much click it you need 100 wins with yamato obviously i can't do that but like all the other ones each character has their thing you just need 100 wins with and then there's other ones to like get to a plus and just a lot of things you could do so yeah that's a that's one way to grind gems right there um of course the rookie missions and now i think we unlock solo missions so these missions right here are definitely the best way solo mode allows for single player battles episode battles okay clear all challenges for rewards so these right here give you a lot of gems i don't know the total number but definitely a lot and the practice modes as well so you want to go through each uh do the missions for each of them do all three and you get three gems and then you go to hard mode do all three and you get three gems again same thing with practice so for each each one of these that's six gems each and there's just a lot there's just a lot of them right so you want to focus that I'm, I'm gonna do that maybe you know like off video or something like something like that survival 100 of course you want to go through each of your characters and beat these bots so you could get exp um well just exp for the specific character and if you max them out then you get exp orbs so yeah go through all of these i'm gonna definitely do that as well okay we can upgrade his skills now these skill orbs and the color little color orbs and stuff so we just level it up how much how much we can boom and at the bottom here you see the team boost um thing so like i was saying before the EXs do give EX boost and recovery boost means you'll get HP recovery during team boost time, which is pretty OP. So my Kaido is already getting up there. Let's get it. Get him to level, you know, level 60 eventually. Again, just keep doing your daily missions, all of these missions, keep claiming everything and just be ahead of the game. You know, we're already getting these, um, you know, metal fragments. Then you could build the metals. And for these pink medals, they're actually event medals, and these are limited time. And so far in the game, we have yet to see the old ones return. So make sure you guys, if you start off the game, you, you grind those out and always keep an extra three copies um, of those lying around because once they're gone, they're gone, bro. You, you know, even if they're not nine star medals, just keep extra three on deck, you know? Let's go, the Kaido's everywhere. Honestly, I'm going to push for the 5-0 each time. I think this is going to be the tactic for now. Just push for 5-0. Because these bots ain't going to do nothing, bro. And once they spawn in, like... <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Push for 5-0. Now they want to fight me. The team's going to get the other flags. They go for anything else. You just skill 2. Because skill 2 with Kaido hits every single flag that you have. So if you have 5 flags, it'll hit every single five flags you have bro like it's insane and there we go 5-0 <laughs> just like that they're not doing nothing team boost kill everyone here it's disgusting bro that's kaido for you that's kaido for you bro just keep going for the 5-0 and that's it i'm gonna keep taking my free mvps of course get my mvp ratio up Let's get it. All right, let's keep going, boys. Six win streak. Honestly, I go for that 20 win streak title. All right, boys, so I'm, at this point, I'm sure it's gonna be a long video because uh, I'm just 5 0 and I don't feel like cutting it too much, so I'm just gonna post it. But honestly, I'm having a lot of fun just with this new account for sure because it feels like I'm actually grinding towards something, like grinding to get to SS or not just like mindlessly playing to get to top 100 you know top 100 just felt like a fake grind because the only reward was titles i guess the titles are cool don't get me wrong but like with the amount of hackers there are it's just not worth bro but grinding to ss is not like you're trying to show off to anyone you're just getting to ss so you could get 50 frags and 20 rainbow diamonds every time and that way you could pull for more characters that you want save you know stay free to play like me of course but 
you know, that's the reason why it feels good grinding for SS because you're like, all right, it's gonna be hella worth because you're getting gems and frags, dude. You know? No, get this man off. Get this man off. Get this flag. Get this flag. Get this flag. Thank you. And then just chill out here if they try doing anything. We're gonna pop that skill too. That's it. We're gonna pop that skill too. I warned you, Mihawk. I warned you, bro. Get up. Get up. Get up, Luffy. Player rank 4, finally medals unlocked, equip medals, 60 second battles. Okay, so let's go check out what we've unlocked. Medals are now unlocked. Alright, strength and characters with medals. Of course, like I had already told you guys, we want to craft those event medals for sure. So they give you these beginner medals. Okay, that's cool. They're not the best. They're not great at all, but it's something. Let's go back into medals. So to actually craft these medals, you do want to go... Do 60 second battles with each of these characters, whoever you want the medal for. So say I want Izo medal, you would do it with Izo, and then you get one medal. Or you just play them in league battle, get them. And if you don't have them at all, the uh, the only way you can really get it is if someone on the enemy team or on your team in league battle MVPs with that character. Pretty sure that's how it works and you get some metal fragments for them. So, you know, like older units like Corazon, is used um where's corazon um so older units like corazon that are used in like you know one of the best damage reduction metal sets if you don't if you don't have him or summon for him you're pretty much not going to get his metal ever because you rarely see him in, in league battle even though these units aren't the best and you wouldn't use them you would use them to grind metals because the metal is so good so yeah that's one thing to keep in mind so already we're going to go to event metals and these are the special ones. They only come for one time, like I said. Always keep grinding these to the max. Like, craft a bunch. Boom. Do it like that. And when I go to upgrade my medals. Okay, you get traits, whatever. So when you do upgrade these event medals, or any medals in this case, I usually start them off with this little thing. Boom. I do that. And that, uh, and that way, because I'm not going to come back after 4 hours, but I'll come back after 8 hours or something. So I usually do the first one and do it. Obviously, don't have too many hammers right now, but if we do some more 60 second battles and stuff, we'll be able to grind those out. And we got save sets. We're not even going to worry about these sets right now because we don't even have medals, right? And transfer traits, not even going to worry about because we don't have 9 star trait medals. So all that, we're just going to chill. Uh, we're just going to chill out on the medals for now. Again, as the series progresses, you will see all that progress and I'll be teaching you guys how to do it. And eventually, I do plan on making a full-on beginner's guide for all these things. Just so you don't have to wait. You just kind of just look at the beginner's guide if you're already like past me in terms of this free-to-play account. Already, I think we made great progress. We've unlocked a 60-second battle. So we could grind some medals. I usually don't do this too much because, you know, I don't really need to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to grind this now or anything. All right, so into league battle match number six or something. I don't even know. I've lost count, bro. I've lost count. I'm sorry. I got to even stop numbering them. Bruh. Bro. <laughs> Double Kaido freeze, dog. All these motherfuckers. Get you from here. I wonder if this reaches. Oh my god, it actually reaches. That's toxic. That's toxic. Get the flag, boys. How? What's taking so long? Is the VV auto clicking? That's why I think. The VV is actually auto clicking her way to SS. That's crazy. There we go. There we go. Damn, I actually had to sweat in that one because the auto clicker ass. Alright, King, you almost have my MVP. All these MVP stealers, bro. Come on, I gotta get my MVP ratio straight. Can't be playing around. 10 kills. Let's go. With the 10 win streak, and we MB minus. Okay, we making our way, bro. Just fighting bots. Okay. 
New maps unlocked, let's go. All the toxic maps are unlocked now. RIP, rank 5, alliance unlocked, challenge battle has been unlocked. Weekly mission unlocked, character boost unlocked, support slip of pots. Okay, 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 okay. Stop it, stop it. Character's latent ability is unlockable. Okay, the character boost, they call it the latent ability. Weekly missions now. Dope. You want to do these for uh, boost one orbs to actually... I like how they do it. So they give you the feature. Like they gave us medals. Then they gave us 60 second battles to go along with it. They give you boost and they give you weekly missions to boost your characters. So I like how they're doing it in the beginning. It is actually pretty cool. I level 60. Level 60. You got killer now. So once you do get those fragments for these uh, three stars or what, whatnot, you unlock them by going here, unlock, boom, and you get him. Pretty good support. He's got Warshan, Runner, um, what else? New World, some other support, not bad. So we're gonna equip that and a, and a King Metal. Screw it, it's got no stats, but that's fine. And we're gonna boost this man's with all the boost I could get. Okay. Just use up everything I got. Obviously we'll do weekly missions and be able to get more. But just keep leveling up your main character as much as you can. And then eventually you start focusing support and your second character. Let me actually call my team something. I think I won't be blocked. Lord Kaido, all right. Let's get it. We got Lord Kaido. Um, and the last thing we unlocked, I think we got survival hundred, no, no, no. We unlocked challenge battle, yes, sir. So now this stuff, you definitely want to grind. Of course, there's a bunch of challenge battles. This is serious mode, so you get to use your characters as level 80. So this one's easy for even new, new players to grind. So definitely do that. Just focus it by score bonus right here. And I can run law and this, get maximum score bonus, grind this out. And then ranking two, you could actually grind top rank with a new count. So this one's not the best to grind because crit percent. But if it's defense percent, HP attack, I would recommend grinding the serious, serious modes with this. Also, another thing I would say is these character fragments, they increase at this time around. So if you buy the battle pass, which is... 99 cents, 2.99. Again, yeah, you, you call those people whales, whatever, because you buy the shit every week. But if you just buy for this one week, you you know you skip out on your little happy meal and buy this, bro. It'll be worth because you get 160 character fragments, and like I said before, 200 character fragments is a unit, so 160 is definitely like up there. So. I think it would be worth if you're really getting into game heavy and you re-roll for a good unit like Kaido. I think it would be worth getting something like that. Last thing we unlocked was alliances. So, of course, my main account is in Will of D. Will of D's full, and um, I'm not gonna be joining Will of D on this with a D minus <laughs> D minus account. But I'll create a new alliance if y'all want to join. All right, so it took me a bit, but I decided on the alliance. Uh, name and flag. We're gonna be the F2P Chads. You already know. If you is an F2P Chad and you want to join the alliance, um, I'll give you the alliance code and all that. Create the alliance, F2P Chads. You're the founder and leader of this alliance. Gather members and become the most powerful alliance. Let's get it, boys. Free to play only. All right, we need people in here though, so definitely join up. Need to get those cheers and shit going. Uh, you guys can enter the alliance ID. I'll put it in the description and on screen. So if you guys do want to join the alliance, definitely join it up. I will be playing this account like pretty regularly now since I do want to get to SS. So I'm going I'm to try keeping it up uh, while also making content with my main account, of course, posting gameplays and all that. Um, but yeah, we, we started off strong, bro. We get, in, we get to like B minus already. We got our alliance up and running. We got Kaido in here, and it's looking, it's looking good, bro. So I think that's a pretty good start. We unlocked a lot of the main features, I would say. Um, of course, I still have, you know, 10 treasures. So I'll definitely want to take those out one day and 
I'll do that, but since we are just matching with bots, I, I, I won't do that all in video. And also, the next thing I want to focus on is making my way through all of these solo missions and practice missions. And just gathering my gems, saving my gems for the next few units that come out. Because the next unit I want is a runner. So any low-key, any blue runner that comes out, I will pull for with this account. Because I'm going to run Kaido and whatever the runner is. That's my plan for this account. Off to a good start. We already got a few more titles. Let's get it. No, no fear. Slayer. Uh, we gonna run no snow fear for now we got that 10 win streak you already know so yeah that's the start of our series um if you guys do enjoy where, where this is going definitely leave a like and comment what you think of it i think it's honestly a great idea and we got super lucky with the second kaido reroll like, that's crazy i feel like i can definitely get to ss in a few months maybe maybe one or two months I should be able to get to SS if, um, you know, I grind the challenge battles and get the frags and just put the frags in Kaido and stuff. So that's how we're going to do this. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Join the Discord if you want to ever play with me or talk to the community and stuff. Uh, follow the Twitch because I might be streaming this account on Twitch while also recording videos for it. You'll find the links to both those in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next live stream or video. Peace.